Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we had a very fruitful trip back into Police HQ. We got some items that will be very helpful, including Squidly's badge. That's definitely going to be kind of important. On that note, it has been suggested a couple of times that I head back to Squidly's apartment to grab his police uniform. However, hear me out a moment. Earlier we learned that Lieutenant Beeglor was able to solve some big case by working undercover. What if we tried to do the same thing? What if we went into the ganglands just undressed? Sergeant Squidly is just some random traffic cop that nobody's going to recognize. At least as long as nobody in the gangs have watched the news. So, I want to find out if we can be super sneaky out of uniform. With that said, we were suggested to go to the ganglands earlier, so let's finally go ahead and do that. Travel time estimated at 30 minutes. Okay. I assume at some point the music is going to change. We've kind of heard the same song since we started the game. You are on the mean streets of the ganglands. A burning card at the side of the road reminds you of just how dangerous this place can be. And of course we brought our kid along. Okay, there's a pawn shop, a crime scene. The underworld entrance that we recently unlocked. Let's go to the crime scene first, get some information, find out what's going on here. Officer Sarlap. Yeah, we were told you would be here. Hello, Squidly. Hello, Mini Squidly. Glad to see you both here. Glad and dazzled by your gilly unprofessional fashion sense. Trust me, I have an idea. Hey, I'm undercover. Exactly. So what's the haps with the crime scene? At 0500 hours this morning, we received an anonymous, anonymous call reporting a body hidden in this dumpster. There is a blood in that dumpster. Possibly a blood trail? Don't know. But an anonymous call... Hmm... The call was traced and found to have originated in the City Hall Sanitation Department. Sanitation, eh? I might have to check that out. We'll definitely do that at some point. The body was later identified as one Lieutenant Dex Beeglar, the most famed crime buster of the Moontropolis PD. Okay, let's go through all of these. Any theories on what happened? So Sarlap, what do you think happened here? As an officer of the law, I feel duty bound to deal with only with facts and to avoid hypotheticals. Hmm. On the one hand, that is definitely a good idea for a cop to follow. At the same time, one should at least check in on hypotheticals. Although not, ne not necessarily act on them. If we allow the law to be steered by flights of fancy and imagination, then that is no justice at all. I feel like this game is trying to tell us something. Uh-huh. Come on, just guess. Uh, marry your principles. You know what? I admire your principles. Sarlap, you're very by the book, aren't you? Yes. 
And please do not pass remark on your admiration of my behavior. It may distort my impartiality. <laughs> wow. Huh. Tell me about the body. Lieutenant Beagler's, Beagler's body was discovered in the sanitary receptacle in a state unbecoming a man of his gravitas. It appears that several wounds have been inflicted, varying in type from stabbing to crushing. Of course, until a full autopsy has been performed, it would be remiss of me to speculate on their cause. Autopsy, you say? How would I arrange one of those? Autopsy facilities are generally available at the Moontropolis Police HQ Crime Lab. However, since the sudden departure of the latest coroner, they are currently suspended. I wonder if I could perform the autopsy myself. I mean, how hard can it be? He's already dead. <laughs> That's logical. Dad? You zoned dad for a second. It's nothing, son. Just thinking. Tell me about this anonymous tip-off. Yes, tell me more. The person who reported the crime used a telephone located in the City Hall Sanitation offices. And? That is all the information that I have. No theories? No names? Nothing? For further information, the best course of action would be to inquire at City Hall. Well, it's a good idea. Alright, get this body out of here. We'll try to perform the autopsy later. Get this body out of here. We can't just leave Beagler lying in a dumpster. Certainly, sir. Why should we send him? Oh, this'll be good. Oh, there's only two options. I wonder if somewhere we could find a way to add a third option. Well, I'm not changing my mind. Just this. Take him to the crime lab. It's time we did an autopsy. Immediately, sir. See ya, sir, lap. Parting salutations to you, Sergeant Squidly. Okay. So, we got options now. We can search the dumpster, which is an inv investigational thing. It's orange, so it's going to be from 3 to 5. I'm at 4, so I should be able to have a good chance at doing this. It's just a little a load of trash. But wait! This coffee cup is still warm! I can't make out the name on it, but it came from the Krusty Donut Cafe downtown. It's a long shot, but this could have belonged to Beaglar. Well, we know he does go there. Also, that wound up being a 2, not a 3 to 5. Did I write that stuff down? Wrong? And in any case, found a thing. Now let's search the alley. This one will be all but guaranteed. In fact, I'm pretty sure it will be guaranteed. So let's do this. Hey, Sirlap! Get over here! Yes, sir? What's that big gray building over there? I believe that is the Underworld Club, sir. A nighttime establishment run by known criminal Big Mama Zod. That's Underworld, eh? Big Mama was no fan of Beaglore after he put her in prison back in the day. It might be worth paying a visit. Okay, at this point, it's 
Oh, gosh, this game is using military time. Uh, 240? Yeah, 240. It would take some time to go to the ch co coffee shop and also to the autopsy. And I've already wasted a lot of time during this adventure. So, I'm not going to spend any more travel time at the moment. Let's just go to the underworld entrance. Before you is a nondescript steel door on the side of a large warehouse. The letters UW are painted on the wall. Uh, we'll just knock. Knock, knock. No answer. I guess nobody is home. Well, then nobody will mind if I break it down. I think I could throw myself against this door for years and still not get anywhere. Alright, well, uh... That was a waste of time. Oh, here's this. Tutorial. You're getting hungry. You better eat something soon or you will become starving. Yes, this is a thing that we have to worry about. When Squidly is starving, he will suffer a penalty to all of his skills. If he is starving for too long, terrible things might happen. Well, that would be one way of ending the playthrough early. Hmm. I don't think it would take too long to enter the pawn shop, though. Probably don't have to worry about becoming starving too quickly. Let's go ahead and check it out. You are in Hugo's Pawn Shop. Every corner of the interior is stuffed with some kind of junk, most of it broken. A moldy smell fills the air. You know, I chose quite the time to become a pig. The snout of mine is getting an initiation. Let's talk to Huju. Characters in this game have an assortment of eyes. Um, do you have nostrils in between your eyes? But then again, you also have some sort of pencil nose. Anyway. Customer, welcome to my humble shop, sir. How may I, I assist you? Uh, it won't take long to ask this first question. Do you own this shop? Why, yes, yes, I do. This is Hugh's pawn shop, and I am huge. Huge, you, eh? How do you pronounce that? Please. And don't you dare say you just did. Exactly as it's spelt. That is also not helpful. Who chew? Who kill? you? You know, when I first opened this business, it was an antique antique shop. I hoped to attract some high-class clientele, maybe give the area a bit of a boost socially. Unfortunately, that did not play out as I had intended, as I am sure you can very well see. Still, I have made a home for myself here, and I hope my little shop proves to your liking. Oh, go became your acquaintance. I should bring that up next time on the, I'm on the world map. Any trouble working in the Ginglands? The Ginglands are a pretty rough area. Do you ever have any trouble with the... Well... Gangs? No, none at all. I have been here for several years and so far have been extremely fortunate. Perhaps the local youths can see what I am aspiring to do to the area and sympathize with my cause. 
perhaps. Know anything about this guy? Dex Beagler was killed just around the corner from here. Do you know anything about him? Oh, was that what that terrible fuss in the alley is about? I did wonder why they had closed, had it closed off. No, I can't say I've heard of this Beaglar fellow. Was he some sort of local ruffian? He was a cop, actually. And quite a famous one. My apologies. I'm afraid I don't keep much abreast of current sent current affairs. Unless they write a book or an opera about him, I'm afraid I'd have no idea who he is. Never heard of Dex Beagler? While living in the ganglands? I don't buy it. Yeah, I am kind of suspicious of this guy. Goodbye. And... I'm obviously I'm not buying something, but... What are you selling? A saxophone. Alright, well, if we wanted to do that thing where we bust for tips... Or busk for tips... There's the instrument we would buy. What else do we have here? Dark Star Physics, our spectacle. That could come in handy. Jigsaw puzzle. Hmm. And the saxophone. Alright. Well, we know there are things here now, but we'll have to wait until that royalty guy comes through with the money. In the meantime... Uh... We don't have money to afford food. Oops. Well, the coffee shop is probably downtown. But... I think we're just gonna have to head home to get some food. At least it only takes 30 minutes. Let's go to Squidley's apartment. Get a snack. There's also an option to go to bed. At some point, we're actually going to need to go to bed, but, uh... I'm betting if we went to bed at the right time, we, we could actually do investigation at night. I'm sure we'll have to actually do that at some point. Anyway, you raid the cupboard and find only a jar of brine which once contained pickled beetroots. You chug the liquid and pray it has retained some flavor. That counts. You have eaten a meal. Squidly needs to eat food occasionally to stave off hunger, but not all meals are equal. You can always get some free food at Squidly's apartment, but it won't be as nutritious as food you pay for. Huh. So changing clothes is an investigative thing. Really? Is it actually possible to fail to change clothes if we had an investigation of one? Well, let's see what we have on hand. Hey, what's this in the bottom of my wardrobe? Why, it's my old saxophone. Oh, we already have one. It's an old one, though. Maybe it doesn't sound as good. I was going to practice this every day. I can't believe I forgot about it. Now, back to the matter at hand. Clothes make the man, and you can change into any outfits you own. Some people react differently to you depending on how you dress. 
Well, we don't have anything besides our underwear. Oh, gosh. He really is going all around without pants. And then again, the police uniform doesn't leave much to the imagination either. I'm still going to work the undercover angle, though. Can't improve on perfection. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, we could practice the, sax practice the saxophone now. Not right now, though. We are on that time limit. And I'm definitely starting to feel it now. Let's go ahead and... Check my items to double check where that place is. Well, I don't know whether it was uptown or downtown. I'm... I'm going to save. That's what I'm going to do. And we'll see if it's downtown. If not, I'll reload and go uptown. You stand in... Yep, this is the place. You stand in Metropolis's bustling downtown district. The busy streets are lined with shops and businesses of all descriptions. Okay, so we could get more clothes here. This is also where the movie theater is. I'm not in any position to really do either, so we'll just focus on the donut cafe. You're getting tired. You better go to sleep soon or you will become exhausted. Uh, we'll work on that. Also, if my math is correct, we need to return Milton home in an hour. When Squidly is exhausted, he will suffer a penalty to all of his skills. If he is exhausted for too long, terrible things might happen. You are in the Krusty Donut Cafe, Metropolis's number one source of coffee and diabetes. Tony Fort Myers sits quietly in a booth. Well, can't buy a coffee and donut. We do have the loyalty card. Let's talk to the person of importance. Holy crap! That's Tony Fort Myers! Who? From Tony Fort Myers and the Dusk. They were a pretty famous band before you were born. This is another thing that we could use the saxophone for, isn't it? I wonder what a superstar like him is doing here. Can I have your autograph? Hey, Tony, can I have your autograph? No. Hey, Tony, I'm your biggest fan. That's nice. Never mind. Let's talk to Sal. Yeah? You want something, or are you just looking at my pretty face? Where's the pretty face option? There isn't one. Drat. How's business? Well, it ain't the best when I'm wasting time talking to squid guys who don't buy nothing. Let's work on the loyalty card. See if that can do something for us. I've got ten stamps on this loyalty card. I'd like my free coffee. Coming right up. That's better. Oh. 
We could have saved some time by coming here first. Instead of going home. Now, uh, we need to be... Bringing Milton home in ten minutes. Well... We, we might be a little late. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to Sal. Hey there, Big Spender! So what bought... Or so you bought some coffee. What do you want? How's business? Can't complain. You cops are keeping me in business. Well, so much better for being undercover. That said, I could always use more, so feel free to buy some more stuff sometime. How long have you worked here? Why? You checking my immigration papers? I've been here a long time. Dex Beagler ever come by here? Who? Mr. Big Shot Fancy Cop? Yeah, he used to. Back before all the fame went to his head, now he thinks he's too good to be seen with old Sal. I have reason to believe this cup belonged to him. It's from here, right? Well, yeah. That work of art on the side is our logo. If it's his, though, he didn't buy it himself. Hmm. Who would have bought coffee for Dex? I bet there was some sort of back alley deal that went wrong. Okay, let's exit to downtown. I'm still not going to be... going to the other two places. We need to hurry up and get the kid home. Because it's getting dark. And also, Squidly's getting tired. <laughs>